Hey guys, welcome back to another WD Detailing video. I'm RJ, Brent's behind the camera, and we're over here at our buddy's auto shop where we have to tow this Rolls Royce out of the lot and into the shop for us to do a full disaster detail on it. So this is actually the same lot that we found the GTR in, that blue GTR that we filmed about six months ago. And uh, sure enough, there's a green Rolls Royce here that's been here for the last six or seven months. Um, I haven't seen a move. I've asked uh, the owner of the shop if he's doing anything with it. He says that he's waiting on payment from the, uh, the customer or the go ahead to start working on it. Um, but we figured it was a cool car. It's in crappy condition. We figured you guys would love to see a detail on it. Um, so I can only imagine that this car was imported from the UK. Um, granted, they drive on the other side of the street, so naturally the steering wheel is on the other side of the car. Um, and obviously that's where the driver sits and, and you know it makes more sense when you're driving on the left side of the road instead of the right side of the road. Um, and being that it's a right hand drive car, I can only imagine that it was imported from the UK. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure how it got here or how it ended up in this particular place, uh, in this particular condition, but here it is and we're dumb enough to detail it. So as you could see in the beginning of the video, we couldn't get the engine running on this thing, meaning we had to get a little creative with getting it into the shop. But the shop owner is eventually going to be rebuilding and repainting this entire car as long as the car owner decides to go ahead with it. And to be completely transparent with you guys, we just did this detail for fun. We didn't get paid or anything. We saw the car at the shop and we thought that it was cool and you guys might enjoy watching this and seeing the car yourselves. So yeah, we decided to just go ahead and detail it for fun. And I figured you guys might be curious what happened to that GTR and here it is. Uh, it ended up right back outside to sit, which sucks, but it is what it is. Now taking a look over the car, this rear trunk lid would originally enticed us to do this detail. We saw it when it was sitting outside and we thought that we could make it look a lot better. So we wanted to test our skills and see if we could actually get this thing looking good again. But while you look at the rest of this thing, I want to ask the question of the video. So make sure you guys leave your answers in the comments below. Like we mentioned a few times, this car is being repainted eventually. If you owned this car, what color would you want it to be? Personally, when it comes to Rolls Royces, I like all black and so does RJ. But that doesn't matter because we want to know your opinion. So what color would you paint this car? Oh, and really quickly, if you guys aren't subscribed to our channel, you should probably do that because we have a potential really big video coming your way that no one else on YouTube has done and no one else will probably ever do again. So make sure you're subscribed.
So after getting the whole car washed off, we went ahead and clay barred it. And as you guys can tell, the trunk lid is basically the biggest problem area that we had. And when we get into the polishing, you'll see that there really was no saving this trunk. It needs to be repainted no matter what. But you'll see that a little bit later in the video. All right, guys, so we were curious to see how much paint's actually on this thing because it's chipping and cracking, and I thought it was going to be extremely, extremely thin. Um, my guess is that there's probably a thick layer of primer underneath, and the actual color is pretty thin, but um, we went ahead and measured it, and it's shown some big, big numbers. But if you follow me around this way, where the paint was starting to chip, we'll check what looks to be bare metal and it's still saying 200. So that means that there's probably a very thick layer of, of primer on there and probably only about 40 to 60 microns, 30 microns in some areas. Um, so we're still gonna have to be extremely conscientious of how aggressive we are, um, but we're just gonna do a light polish. I mean, let's be honest, this is not a good paint job. Uh, so it's, it's not original, so uh, we don't have to be too careful, but at the same time, um, we want to make sure that we can make this thing look as good as possible without um, sanding down to the, the primer. So I'm really only leaving this in for those of you who are curious what it looks like when a paint can't be polished out. And that's just because like he said, there's just not enough on there for it to look good. But we still wanted to give it a shot and see what it would look like because again, this car is being repainted. But for those of you watching who are detailers, if you were in this situation like us, comment below what you would have done.